Hello everyone. I've been thinking about our experience of fellowship over these last several months. And I think it's fair to say that everyone would say it's an imperfect form of fellowship uh, for several reasons. And even though this Sunday some of you will wisely stay home and some of you will uh, wisely uh, come and gather for our outdoor service, even then we'll recognize that we're not complete, we're not where we long to be, which is uh, all safely back together inside of our sanctuary, um, celebrating our Savior. And by the way, uh, be prepared. That, that may take a while. Uh, we're trying some outdoor services, but there's no guarantee that uh, we will continue uh, to be, have an option to be physically together. We may have to go back to our uh, previous stay-at-home model. We just have to stay open and flexible in this area as we sort of figure our way forward. But as I thought about this experience of less than ideal fellowship, it occurred to me that even at our, our best moments when we're together as believers, even that, in a sense, is uh, an imperfect uh, form of fellowship. We're all looking forward to the day when uh, we will spend the rest of our lives in flawless, glorious fellowship uh, with all kinds of believers uh, from all different kinds of backgrounds. So uh, this experience right now is a great way for us to remember that uh, we ache for normalness, uh, but we also ultimately ache for the ultimate fellowship for which even this imperfect fellowship is a is a good sample. Now a couple things, to, uh, practical things about this coming Sunday. Uh, the first, uh, speaking of uh, actually a, an announcement here, I'm going to go off on a tangent for a second. Mark and Inger Meyer uh, are in the process uh, this very week, I think they leave Saturday, those of you who know them, they've been part of our fellowship for quite some time. They're permanently relocating to Dallas, Texas, to that area to be with uh, their kids. And so if you know Mark and Inger, please uh, send them a text, uh, a, uh, an email, uh, a voicemail, whatever, uh, just to let them know how much we're going to miss them and, and pray for them as they find a new uh, church family as well. Like I've said recently, it's always a good thing when it's a hard thing to leave your church family. So as we regather as a family, some of you at home and some of you here this, uh, this Sunday, a couple things uh, to keep in mind. Uh, first of all, uh, we're not gonna be having our pre-service uh, get together on Zoom, nor are we gonna be having our Q&A. Uh, you, when you go to our website, there'll be an option for those of you who are at home to click on that. I believe uh, at 9.30. And then for those of you who are coming here, you'll also need to pull up the website on your phone so that you can use uh, that option to be able to follow along with the sermon slides uh, as well as um, some singing slides. So we'll re-explain that to those of you who uh, show up here as well. Uh, we are making a great effort so that those of you at home are experiencing the service live at the same moment that, that uh, we are. For those of you who will be coming, a couple things to remember. Uh, bring uh, chairs and, and a blanket. Um, uh, if you, if you uh, don't have chairs or if you just show up here, we've got chairs here as well. Um, uh, our facilities will be open, they'll be clean, you'll be able to access them during the service if you need to take a child in uh, to the bathroom. Speaking of children, uh, there's feel free to let the kids play in the grass area while you listen in to the, the great speakers that we have. Um, and, uh, and, but we are asking that the kids not play on the swing set because it's so close to where most people are going to be sitting. Um, so. Uh, Feel free, you know, to use the parking lot, whatever. And speaking of the parking lot, uh, when you come in, you'll be able to park on the uh, west side of the lower parking lot, uh, but the whole parking lot will not be available. So if you can, please park up top and walk down. Uh, that will help anybody else who is coming. Again, families, uh, we will be having a Jesus storybook uh, 
Bible time as well during the service. So if you can bring your Jesus Storybook Bible, if you happen to have it, if not, I think we'll have a few copies here as well. Uh, we're looking forward to a, a great experience together. Uh, the weather looks great. In fact, you may even have to bring a jacket. <laughs> Uh, but uh, again, we will be together on Sunday, imperfectly, but ultimately in anticipation of that day when our fellowship will be ultimately perfect.